एक ओंकार सत गुरु प्रसाद जून 26 2024 8:4 एम एंड आई मेड अ वीडियो फॉर द फुल टाइम जॉब व्हिच आई विल शो इन आफ्टर फिक्स बीटा आई यूज आफ्टर फिक्स बीटा फॉर दिस बिकॉज आफ्टर फिक्स बीटा 2024 हैज अ जीपीयू एक्सेलरेशन एनेबल्ड इट जस्ट मींस दैट आफ्टर फिक्स विल फॉर वंस यूज जीपीयू व्हेन यू नेविगेटिंग अराउंड द इंटरफेस एंड एवरीथिंग is this one of those things which why does it take adobe a decade like decades to introduce which should be like from day one of course it's a 4 minute long youtube video like a long form content situation uh the thing i want to document is there is a lot of elements of these you see there are numbers um and there are number counters okay so this and then there are icons which are popping a part of this i documented in the last video is how do you make it into a color code and stuff so i made a notion checklist of the things that i want to automate from this particular project first is number counter script with prefix and suffix that's the most important thing then itk this script here the fn f out the fade in fade out is not working the way it should like you have to double click so i have to fix that for pops and fades need markers i need markers instead of precoms like you see here something which uh, atomics gives you by default it's a very straightforward expression actually so you put those keyframes new precom that layer and then you add the simple expression so you can just move these markers around instead of uh, moving the keyframes around which is a lot more convenient so uh, obviously a script for that as well then add icons with the color theme for to the library so that i don't have to keep using the illustrator files lower third mogart split screen ai script exposition animator script with shape mat and whole thing try recreating it in fusion that's obviously a very ambitious goal but in today's documentation i'm starting slow and simple because there's a lot to do here uh, what i'm doing is i am making an extension for the super part i showed you those uh, counters kind of things coming so over here what you see is i'm going to just close this and uh, essential graphics is open i'm going to go to windows extensions and this is the extension simple super i'm going to open this and this here is the code so in this ep episode i know i haven't done the introduction to after effects extensions or adobe extensions video but that's just taking way too long for me to put together so i'm just going to do a raw documentation and then we'll probably at some point make a full fledged video so if you are new to Uh, Adobe extensions and this with these videos are just like me struggling and trying to figure things out. Uh, hopefully, at some point, I'll make a more comprehensive comprehensive tutorial on how to do these things. But right now, you have is a very simple structure from uh, in the if you look, in look at the folder structure, there's CSXS, which is manifest dot XML. This has all the information which is needed to package your uh, what was the shortcut for WordRap Alt C. all the information needed to package your extension so bundle id version number uh, if what what software you using it so aeft and then version 13.0 to 99 this is for after effects if you want this to also work in premiere pro then you will duplicate this okay shift alt here you will duplicate this and here you will say pr pr o whatever the code is i'm not i'll have to check once but this is everything in manifest now another two important things in manifest let me just close this is this main path index.html so your adobe extensions are basically html web pages with html css javascript and an additional layer of jsx which is adobe extend script that allows you allows your web page essentially which is your extension to communicate back and forth between your adobe program whichever you're working with that's after effects in this case so what is important here is main path index.html where your meet will live and then script path main script.jsx so this main script.jsx is over here so i'm going to take a route from here to here everything else here is like the name and the menu hello world e because i've renamed it but these are like height and width which will be when you run the extension by default of course you can extend it and do whatever you want later uh, but these are just geometry options and stuff like that let's start from index.html okay we'll come to main script so index.html this is your standard html file with html head body body tag has your divs which i will go to in a win, in a minute and then script on loaded so what is important to note is that you have to include a ext.js so let me try and simplify this there is 
manifest which is the package kind of thing where we included index.html and um, main script.js .jsx just include those two things there then when you go into your web actual uh, extension there is html html there is ext.js there's html there is javascript that is css for styling but there's html there is javascript and then there is javascript extended so what you see here you have to include your ext.js javascript here and uh, ext.js has the main function here function on loaded and on loaded is basically whenever your dom document object model gets loaded then you have to do all of this so when you say script document dot add event listener dom content loaded function on loaded inside your index.html whatever things you put entire inside script it will straight away go to here script script.js and find ext.js this index.html pretty much has got nothing to do with jsx it has only got things to do with js which is javascript and javascript will then take you to jsx uh, on loaded is a function in ext.js we come in here to function on loaded we define a global variable cs interface is new cs interface it's a built-in function uh, that adobe gives which allows you allows your javascript to communicate with jsx and then we say load jsx now load jsx is very important is a function which looks into your file structure and evaluates all the file eval file evaluates all the files which have a jsx extension to them so what this load jsx will do is it will come in here it will search through these so just to test a lot of things out i have put two jsx files you can do the entirety of your code in one jsx file but it's important it's good to like split things out for optimization and also for your sanity because too much code in one single file will get too tedious and i know how tedious it gets with jsx so all of your jsx files here will be executed with load.jsx i'm gonna close this now and then i'm just gonna show how this refresh is working so refresh this is part of javascript it's got nothing to do with jsx so there's just a simple div which says href is javascript history dot go zero ids refresh panel and this is the name so refresh i can just refreshed i can just change it a little here i save it and i refresh this this will update here okay now there is a div underneath which is saying active comp uninitialized here is where we start using javascript because you see up until now we were just doing javascript here we start using jsx so javascript extended up until now we were just doing javascript but this comp one right if i was to come in here and make this test comp okay if i refresh this you see this test comp is an information from after effects so what that means is we've communicated javascript has communicated with javascript extended to give us this information so how does that work excuse the noise that is coming from outside it's something i cannot help right now because i'm already running late for the gurdwara so just bear with that please how is this thing working right id refresh panel if i go into xt.gss we're using cs interface dot evolve script dollar dot ext get comp nav active comp cb this is too complex for me to explain in this struggling documentation video but let me show you what that means if i go into my first jsx file which is simple super dot jsx <clears throat> everything here is enclosed in a function like this and that allows us to define global variables to just so that i don't have to keep defining it every time again then if we say if dollar dot underscore ext you don't need to think so much about it it's just jquery selectors that's what it is so we define everything in this is i think it's called a json object i might be wrong here but you put it in rows like these and then whenever you want to call one of the functions you just say this and then dot the function name so how you define a function name is get comp name colon function then i've defined variable comp here now the reason i haven't put it in the global i checked it is because it needs to update every single time so this thing will be looked at only when the extension is loaded once in the beginning when the dom is loaded but uh, because i need to update things at the level of the comp for this to when i refresh when i refresh for this to update dynamically i need to define comp inside this function then i've continued it down as well if comp return comp name else return no active comp so if there is no active comp and i refresh it will say no active comp okay, this is the basic structure now let me also show you what i was working on so then there is this simple uh, text box in index.html 
which is input type is text id is text box one placeholder is enter super you're gonna put your super here and then there is a button called create button with create text button id these ids are important because we're going to use these inside javascript to refer to these elements so inside ext.js we say alt z to yeah just makes it a little difficult to understand okay so now document or get element by id create text button which is this referring to this button here we have to add an event listener click function evaluate now this what i'm trying to do here is i'm trying to put some sample text here okay and when i click on this button what i want to happen is dollar dot exe remember this is how we are accessing the functions in our jsx file dot this dot is the function name okay so display rows column escape text and columns let me just do rows for the moment so it's a little easier for you to understand and rows and columns now what are rows and columns is basically referring to the same thing now why do i have rows and columns is because the first extension that i made hello world after effects had two different boxes for rows and columns so that is what has carried forward but if i save this now rows and columns and if i refresh this and if i say 12 here and i say create you will get number of rows entered is 12 okay so what is actually happening here is a lot of things are happening i am giving input to the javascript okay which is completely separate it's like a web page i am giving uh, an input a number input here i'm clicking a button and you're getting a script alert that is important now script alert means that it is coming from jsx or from after effects and not from js uh, what is the difference between the two if i comment these out and if i just said alert hey and remember we are in ext.js right now if i just said alert hey on clicking this button so if i say create okay that doesn't work super text create text button okay wait yeah again the same thing the dom needs to be loaded right so you go into you see after it's also kind of throwing up <laughs> so you the the refresh button will not just work like that you have to uh close the extension and open it up again and then you say create now this is a different kind of alert so what you see here is alert that's a javascript alert so because i just said alert hey i am alerting something from javascript and not from jsx okay so that's a very crucial difference to understand so i'm just going to undo all that i did and uh, this is how we're doing so if you go into dollar exe to display rows columns in your jsx file what this is doing is it takes two parameters as input r and c and then it just alerts the value with this string of text okay that's what it is doing now where i was stuck at and this is something i will work on and figure and document in tomorrow's uh, episode is you see here i have used variable script is i've used the super text to be the value what I, whatever i'm entering here so sample text okay let me first do like a number first and super text so ext create text what is the create text uh, function doing it's simply taking a parameter t and it is alerting it because i want to start simple i'm just going to alert the text just to see if things are working if it is 12 okay and uh, don't worry about this escape text that's just some chat gpd suggestions i've tried but i am saying function called with now this is important like you want to use this kind of a situation where you put single quotes and then say plus whatever the variable is that you've defined inside javascript because see javascript extended and javascript they need to be explicitly told what each thing is you can't just assume things here so you have to put it in plus like this and then you close it like this and then colon okay and then we say cs interface dot evolve script which is a function which will actually execute it i say save it and i think i'll have to start it again but yeah i'll have to start it again so window extensions uh, simple super now if i hit create button you say super is undefined if i was to say 12 here and create you get super is 12 and this is script alert which means that this is working super is 12 however if i make this a text and refresh it oh it refresh sample text and i hit create then i'm getting this error unable to execute script at line one so this is where i am right now where i have to figure out how this script would accept text and it's not that difficult to figure out especially with my good coding friend uh, chat gpt so we'll figure that out but i just want to document this little progress here because i tend to keep forgetting this over and over 
and it took me quite some time to revise all that I had learned like a month or two back about extensions. So this is just a very, very basic overview. You can call it struggle day one. So this was a very basic kind of overview. I'm going to document, try and document as much progress as I can make here. And hopefully you can learn along watching these videos, like me struggling and not able to figure out. And you can also, at some point, I'll make like a comprehensive guide on Adobe extension. So thanks so much for being in the court. I will catch you in the next video. Peace. Wahiguruji ka khalsa, Wahiguruji ki fateh.